So this video blog is another, the third part in our three-part series on the shoulder mobility exercises that you can do after you, if you've sat for a while or studied or been sitting, reading or um, watching TV for 20 minutes. And what you would simply do is use your whole body, let your hips, trunk, shoulder blades kind of rotate, and then your shoulders and arms will follow. If you get dizzy, what you want to do is just look straight ahead and let everything rotate underneath your fairly stationary neck and head. If you're okay with turning the head and neck, now you can get some neck mobility along with shoulder mobility. That would be a very low level one. If you want to increase the high level uh, intensity of it a little bit, you would actually keep your arms at shoulder height. And that's a little bit more shoulder stability that you have to have in order to move through this plane of motion. And once again, you can have your arms in a palms down position, a palms uh, facing, and a palms up. So all three that you would want to do in a safe and pain-free range of motion can work very seamlessly together and kind of loosen you up because people get so tight and they're just unable to rotate. This should help you in everyday life, turning your head while you're driving, or just hitting a golf ball better. So hopefully those help your shoulder problems. How's the back feeling?